Good evening, friends. Welcome to the Rainbow Ballroom. I'm Tom Dendy, pastor of Celebration Presbyterian Church, and I welcome you back to the Rainbow Ballroom for this Tuesday evening virtual Vespers. It is the 14th day of November, and we're gathering here as we have since way back in the beginning of the pandemic. These Vespers have been hosted by Celebration Presbyterian Church, located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We're glad you're here. Our theme for tonight, hello, Carol Mitchell. Welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom. Our theme tonight is, Come Ye Thankful People Come as we lean in towards Thanksgiving, which is by far my favorite holiday of all. Come ye thankful people come. Hello, Kathy O'Halloran and Jeffrey. Welcome. Our theme tonight for Vespers is come ye thankful people come. And as folks are gathering here in the Rainbow Ballroom, I'll sing that one for you. Sing along. Come, ye thankful people, come. Raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in. Ere the winter storms begin, God our Maker doth provide. For our wants to be supplied, come to God's own temple, come, raise the song of harvest home. All the world is God's own field, fruit unto His praise to yield. Weed and tares together grown Unto joy or sorrow prone First the blade and then the ear Then the new corn shall appear Lord of harvest grant that we Wholesome grain and pure may be for the Lord our God shall come and shall take his harvest home. From his field shall in that day all offenses purge away. Give his angels charge at last in the fire his tares to cast. But the fruitful ears to store in his garner evermore. Even so, Lord, quickly come to thy final harvest home. Gather thou thy people in, free from sorrow, free. In thy presence to abide, come with all thine angels, come, praise the glorious harvest home. Come, ye thankful people, come. Welcome back, Catherine Crumpler, good to have you, Bruce Watson. Welcome back to the Rainbow Ballroom. Our theme tonight is same as that hymn, Come Ye Thankful People Come. And I want to use Psalm 100 as our call to worship. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. 
Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless God's name. For the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. And God's faithfulness to all generations. I say, come ye thankful people. Come, let us worship the Lord together. On this 14th day of November in the year 2023, as we gather here in the Rainbow Ballroom. I'm going to share one of my favorite songs because I think it's always a good song for appropriate to the Thanksgiving season. And for those of you who are singing in the choir, you sang it recently, so sing along with me, The Goodness of God. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me all my days. I've been held in your hands From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God and All my life you have been a faith my life you have been so so good with every breath that i am able i will sing of the goodness of god i love you lord you have led me through the fire darkest nights you were close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend I have lived in the goodness of God and all my life you have been faithful my life you have been so so good with every breath that i am able oh i will sing of the goodness of god your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. And all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God Yes, I will sing of the goodness of God bow with me for prayer, friends. Dear God, I hate to say it, but I'm guilty of grumbling and griping about my troubles and my trials. I've failed to be thankful and to remember that you are at work in my life, even in the midst of my struggles. Please forgive me, God. I want to be a person who keeps my eyes on you and praises you no matter what may come my way. 
So thank you, God, for the many blessings and for the many challenges, too. I know that you are in control of all things. I know you love me and will work all things together for my good. I trust you, Lord, and I thank you for being with me in my trials, loving me in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture tonight, uh, second scripture, 1 Corinthians 1, verses 4 to 9. Paul is writing to the Christians in Corinth, and he says to them, I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that has been given you in Christ Jesus. For in every way you have been enriched in him, in speech and knowledge of every kind, just as the testimony of Christ has been strengthened among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will also strengthen you to the end so that you may be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful. By God, you are called into the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Don Moan and Paul Beloche wrote Thank You, Lord, way back in 2004. I come before you today and There's just one thing that I want to say Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord For all you've given to me For all the blessings that I cannot see Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With the grateful heart, with the song of praise, with an outstretched arm, I'll bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank and gave me your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You took my sin and my shame. You took my sickness and healed all my pain. your name and thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord thank you Lord I just want to thank you Lord thank you Lord help tonight in the singing from Cassidy. She was pretty well in time tonight too, barking along with thank you, Lord. So I think she's wanting to get her, get her gratitude on as well. So I ask, what are you thankful for? Or who are you thankful for in your life? Do you stop 
often and think about the blessings in your life and the things that you're really, really thankful for? Do you keep a little list, a gratitude list, so that on hard days you can go back to it and be reminded of the things that you're truly grateful for? Have you written a Thanksgiving letter ever? Uh, it's a great time of year to write someone a Thanksgiving letter. Let them know that you made a real, they made a real difference in your life. Um, tell them how they changed your life. You'd be surprised how a letter like that can go a great distance in improving someone's life. How about your family tradition of Thanksgiving? Do you take time out at table to name something that you're grateful for? How about giving it a try this year? Rather than letting conversation digress into politics or complaints or only about the food on the table, why not steer it towards thanksgiving and take turn about the table naming something that you're thankful for? Try it. I guarantee you'll like it. It's a good practice. Really good practice. Well, bow with me again for a prayer of thanksgiving, friends. Thank you, God, for food and fellowship that we will soon be sharing in coming days. And thank you for your many, many blessings in our lives throughout 2023. Thank you for the many blessings of our first 21 years at Celebration Presbyterian Church. And thank you for the years to come. Thank you, God, for the times that you've answered no to my prayers. Those times have helped me depend on you so much more. And they remind me that you know what's best for me, even when my wants and opinions differ from your response. Thank you, Lord, for the things that you have withheld from us. No doubt you have protected us from situations that we may never realize. It may feel as if we were shut out and yet you were protecting us. Thank you, God, for the doors that you've closed in our lives. They have prevented us from going where you would rather not have us go. And thank you, Lord, for the alone times in our lives. Those times have forced us to lean in closer to you. And thank you, God, for the uncertainties that we've experienced. They have deepened our trust in you. And thank you, Lord, for the times you came through for us, even when we didn't even know what we needed or that we were needing to be rescued or redirected in our life. Thank you, Lord, for the losses we have experienced. This is a hard one. Those losses have reminded us that you know our losses and that you're our greatest gain and that you are with us in our pain no matter what. Thank you, God, for the tears that we have shed. They have kept our hearts soft and moldable. And thank you, God, for the many times in 2023 that we haven't been able to control our circumstances. These times have reminded us that you are still large and in charge of our lives and for this world. Thank you not only for our eternal salvation, but for the salvation you afford us every day of our lives. As you save us from ourselves, our foolishness, our own limited insights, our frailties in light of your power and strength. You help us every step of the way if we'll let you. Thank you finally that we can pray in the name of Jesus who is our direct access to you and who gives us a personal and close relationship with you too. In all things, in all things, we thank you, God. Amen. I don't remember fully the story of Martin Rinkert in his writing of Now Thank We All Our God, except the details were that he lost his family at sea 
And out of that tragic loss, he prayed and he prayed some more and he came to the words that we have preserved in our hymnal is, now thank we all our God. Now thank we all our God with heart and hand and voices who wondrous things has done in whom this world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love in still God, through whom our life be near us, with ever joyful hearts, and blessed peace to cheer us, and keep us in his grace, and guide us when perplexed. And free us from all ills in this world and the next. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Him who reigns with Well, some reminders to share with you or notices to give uh, as we head into the most wonderful and busy time of the year. Tonight, we'll close out Vespers for 2023, and we're ending with this Thanksgiving edition tonight, celebrating one of my favorite holidays of all, giving thanks. And we end with deep appreciation, and I want to thank you all for your participation and support throughout this year. Tuesday evening, Vespers will resume, hopefully, in 2024. But in the meantime, we'll get busy with other things like preparation for the cantata and working for all the Advent services that are coming. We will gather this Sunday, November 19th, to give, God, give thanks to God together. And next Sunday, uh, November 26th, we'll celebrate Christ the King Sunday. And that marks the, the beginning of my 13th year of serving celebration as their pastor. So we invite you to join in worship Sundays at 11 a.m. in person at Celebration Presbyterian Church located at 2300 Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you can't be with us in person, join us through our Facebook live stream or on our YouTube channel. Also, watch for your weekly uh, email updates. They go out on Tuesday and Thursday each week. And if you're not on our list and you want to be, call our church office at 843-903-0308. And Irma Stackhouse will add you to our email list. The Tuesday email is an update on activities upcoming and Thursday's email gives you insights and all the materials for Sunday's worship upcoming. If you want to support this ministry of celebration monetarily, you can do so by going to our website. 
It's celebrationpresbyterianchurch.org. You can choose the donate now or recurring payment option there and make a secure online gift if you'd like to. I want to thank each of you for your participation and support and encourage you ongoing to do the best you can to do and be the best that you can day by day for the foreseeable future, my friends. Cassidy says hello and happy Thanksgiving. And I want to give you a charge for, and benediction. May the strength of God sustain us. And may the power of God preserve us. And may the hands of God protect us. And may the way of God direct us. And may the love of God go with us this night and forevermore. Amen. I want to wish you all a very blessed Thanksgiving. And uh, have a couple more songs to share with you. This one by Henry Smith is simply called Give Thanks. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks with a holy one. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ. Son. And now let the weak say I am strong, let the poor say I am rich, because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. This is the most vocal Cassidy has chosen to be all year long, and I'm not exactly sure what it's about. Are you wanting to tell your friends hello and that you love them and you're wishing them a great time on Thanksgiving? Okay. Let me sing. This next one's called We Gather Together. We gather together to sing the Lord's blessing With singing and ringing let everyone know Our songs of thanksgiving God who is living Let music fill the air as our love we do show Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining, ordaining, maintaining a kingdom divine. So from the beginning, our thanks we are giving, our Lord be at our side, all glory be thine. We all do extol Thee, our leader triumphant, and pray that You still our defender will be. Let our congregation escape tribulation, Your name be ever praised, O Lord, make us free. Another one of the traditional Thanksgiving hymns that we love and share. Well, hello, Carol Mitchell, and I'll miss you too, but we'll be doing lots of other things in preparation for Christmas and New Year's. So stay tuned, stay tuned. I want to thank everybody for sharing Vespers tonight, and I again say join us in worship on any Sunday at Celebration 
We're at 2300 Celebr uh, Carolina Forest Boulevard in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Our worship time is 11 a.m. And in person or online, all are welcome. Friends, know that God loves you, and so do we. And the bell's tolling 8 o'clock. <laughs> Seth Sykes and Bessie Sykes wrote, Thank you, Lord. And I'm just going to share the chorus, which is probably the most memorable part of this song. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free sing it with me thank you lord for saving my soul thank you lord for making me whole thank you lord for giving to me thy great salvation so rich and free oldie but a goodie and I want to fi finish up with one that was popularized by James Taylor and Garth Brooks and I wish I could do it justice as do they off and what I'm thankful for ain't on no list for it's only in my heart exists for time has helped me to understand The things I can't hold in my hand For those that came before my turn From whom I've gathered lessons learned That light the path that lies ahead See them as I bow my head Yes, I'm thankful for the Lord above The gift of His unending love The promise kept that there is something more These are the things I'm thankful for For our children hear this prayer Let love surround them everywhere And may their children's children know The one from whom all blessings flow Yes, I'm thankful for the Lord above the gift of His unending love The promise kept that there is so much more These are the things I'm thankful for Amidst these gifts and presents We receive even holiday May we take a thoughtful second just to fold our hands and pray 
Yes, I'm thankful for the Lord above, the gift of His unending love, the promise kept that there is so much more. These are the things I'm thankful for. These are the things I'm thankful for. And it's great to have you in the Rainbow Ballroom along with John Strickland and many others tonight. And as I said at the beginning tonight, uh, we're wrapping it up for this year. Tonight, on a Thanksgiving note with Come Ye Thankful People Come. And it's been great to gather all the times we've gathered. And now we're going to refocus on some holiday preparation here at Celebration. And we invite you to come be a part of any and all of it. Check us out on our website at celebrationpresbyterianchurch.org. You can see our calendar. You can follow our sermons. You can uh, get lots of helpful insights to our community of faith. And we'd love to have you come be a part of it. Hope you have a wonderful time with the people that you love the most here at Thanksgiving. Enjoy some good food and good fellowship, but don't forget to pause for the cause, and give thanks to God Almighty for the many, many blessings that we enjoy day by day and throughout this year. I'm thankful for each and every one of you, and I thank God for our time we've shared together, and I look forward to meeting again with you in 2024, and until that time, take care. God bless. See you soon. Happy Holidays.